Hi, I am Apurva Shet. US markets have come a long way from its bottom in the month of March. On the 20th of March, I wrote a piece uh, saying that the chances of a bottom in the US markets are pretty high and the US markets, US as well as European markets are closer to their bottoms and there could be chances of a rally. So from there on, the US markets have bounced back smartly. They are uh, close to their all-time highs. Now, uh, why are we talking about uh, US markets today? Generally, I speak about uh, Indian markets. Uh, well, uh, we have been uh, speaking about uh, candlestick patterns over the last 2-3 weeks. Uh, now, there is an interesting candlestick pattern develop, which has developed on the U US indices, that is the Dow Jones Index. Uh, so, I thought that this could uh, add a lot of uh, educational value as well as uh, it could give a view as to the trend of the US markets and which uh, and normally the way US markets moves all the other market follows. So uh, what is this uh, candlestick pattern and what does this indicate? Uh, well this is a island reversal pattern. Now uh, as you can see on your screen out here now island reversals have uh, five uh, main uh, points to look at. So first is a uh, uptrend so that we have already seen that the US markets had uh, bottomed out in, in the month of March and from there on they have uh, moved higher. So first is an uptrend, an existing uptrend. Second is a gap. Now if you look at uh, over here closely, you will notice that there is a gap between the prices from uh, 4th of June and 5th of June. So there is an upward gap, US markets opened uh, higher with a gap up. Uh, and then they continue to move higher. So third is after the gap, there is uh, there are supposed to be some candlesticks uh, or some trading activity for a couple of days to, uh, that should happen. So that is the third element in this pattern. And fourth is uh, the downward gap. This is one of the very important uh, element in this pattern, wherein a uh, gap is again a followed by another gap but this one is on the downside now this gap indicates that whatever uh, upside momentum uh, that was seen uh, is now reversed so when the markets gapped up the bulls were in complete uh, momentum bulls were in complete control and they took the markets higher uh, but after a couple of days bears took over and they pushed the markets uh, lower with the same aggression. So this indicates a reversal uh, from a short term perspective. So after the once we see a gap down, we should see a follow up action which we have seen. So that is the fifth element in uh, this pattern. Now uh, island reversals are very rare and whenever they happen, uh, we should take notice of uh, such island reversals. Now this is also important because uh, this reversal has happened uh, near an important Fibonacci retracement level that is the 78.6% retracement level. So th there is one more thing which uh, adds to the importance of this uh, reversal pattern. So uh, now uh, we don't know whether uh, how long uh, the US markets will uh, stay below the recent highs. And uh, there could be chances that the markets can uh, shrug this can, this pattern and they can uh, very well uh, move higher. So all the possibilities remain. However, until and unless this gap is not filled, chances are that bears will uh, come back and they will uh, retain, try to retain uh, control uh, over the markets. So that's what uh, US markets could do uh, in the short term. Now. Uh, However, there, there are chances that over the medium term, the markets could uh, uh, stay higher or we may not see so much of a downside. And the reason behind it is that the US presidential elections are uh, around the corner. So uh, now uh, what, what's the importance of uh, these uh, presidential elections? So well, uh, it is generally observed that uh, US presidents or all the US presidents that 
have uh, been there they would normally try to uh, get re-elected that's the human nature everyone wants to be uh, re-elected and for that whatever uh, a person could do will do so uh, we have normally seen that uh, the elections the, there is a presidential election cycle which lasts for four years and uh, the first and the second year the president focuses uh, more on giving returning the favors back to the people who helped him uh, win the elections and in the third and fourth year the president focuses on the economy uh, which would uh, help him uh, get votes so we have seen that the third or the last last year and this year the us markets have uh, bounced back and president trump being a capitalist uh, he has uh, done everything in in his uh, power to push the markets higher uh, this includes arm, even arm twisting the us fed so uh, i feel that the us markets could remain in an uptrend at least till the 4th of november that's when the uh, us that's when us goes for elections so until then the medium term trend looks bullish uh, i believe that uh, trump being the president he is he wouldn't allow the markets to uh, fall or would do everything possible under his control to see to it that the markets remain uh, afloat and markets remain uh, cheerful so that's how the us markets could uh, trade over the next couple of uh, uh, weeks to months so that's all from me for today uh, i hope you enjoyed watching this video and in case you did then please like it share it uh, subscribe to our channel and also ask your uh, friends and family to uh, watch this videos and uh, join our uh, channel so that's all from me for today uh, thanks a lot and have a nice day also don't forget to sign up to our free newsletter the fast profits daily if you sign up to this newsletter right now then you would get access to this free guide how to trade the markets like a pro so don't miss this chance and sign up right now